Hi everyone, here are back again at Moving Tips. Right now we are going to tell you all the professional secrets of moving a pool table. Guess how many helpers you need? We have the answer, be patient. It's easy to look at a pool table and say, sure, that will be hard to move, but it won't be that hard. And if you know what you are doing, it isn't that hard. Stay with us if you want to find out how to move a pool table the right way, step by step. You can benefit from professional movers' mistakes to make sure you move the table safely, efficiently and without breaking anything. The table or your back. By the way, do you know the largest pool table movers managed to move and how many of them we are needed? Share your thoughts in the comments and very soon we will know the answer. Oh, subscribe and hit the bell here if you don't want to miss new videos. Also, push the like button or leave a comment to encourage us to make new, interesting episodes for you. If you are still debating hiring a professional pool table mover for your table, then this quick overview is for you. It will give you a bird's eye view of the process of moving a pool table. So, if you are still on the fence, proceed watching. Moving tip. How long does it take to move a pool table? The overall time it takes to move a table depends on the size of the table, your experience dismantling assembling pool tables, and how far you're going. The time it takes to drive from one location to another is easy to figure out. Everything else depends. Most pool tables can be disassembled and reassembled in two to three hours for those with experience. Those without should plan for four or five hours. Keep in mind that these are only estimates and do not factor in the time it takes to transport the table. Step 1. Gather supplies, equipment and help. Before you start taking your pool table apart, you should make sure you have everything you need to do the job. Supplies and tools. Here is a list of supplies you'll need to move your pool table. Some of these tools can vary depending on the table, so having a stock toolbox around is always a good idea. A needle nose pliers or a heavy duty staple remover, a power drill with various bits, a set of screwdrivers, both flat hat and Phillips, carpenter's level, machinist level, which is optional, shears or a cutting tool, a black marker, labels for marking and identifying pool table pieces, socket wrench set, moving blankets or bubble wrap, and resealable plastic bags of various sizes. You'll need minimum two helpers who are physically capable of lifting over 100 pounds and a moving dolly. Step 2. Make a plan. Now that you have all of your supplies and equipment gathered, or at least lined up for the job, it's time to make a plan. Moving a pool table while other people will be asking you for help or interrupting you is a recipe for disaster. There are lots of little pieces that need to stay together when you disassemble the table in the next step, so you want to make sure you can focus your attention on the table and nothing else. It will make your life easier when you go to reassemble it later. I promise. Here is an example. Arrange details. Will you be able to move everything at once? If you have a moving truck or another cargo vehicle, you likely will. Are there stairs involved? If so, you may need an extra person, especially if you have a one-piece slate. Begin pool table disassembly. Allow for two hours or one hour if you are done it before. Arrange for one person to help you with this step. Arrange for the rest of your help to show up approximately when this assembly is done. Everything should be labeled and ready to move when it help arrives. Carefully transport all the pieces of the table, taking special care with the slate by using dollies, blankets, and or bubble wrap to protect it. Arrive at destination and begin reassembly. Allow for 3 hours or 2 hours if you've done it before. Having even the most basic plan will help things run smoothly. The last thing you want is to arrive at the destination missing some pieces of the table or not have enough people to help you move it if there are stairs. Moving tips. It's time for the fact from moving tips. This guide focuses on moving slate bed pool tables, both one and three piece. There are MDF wood pool tables out there that are pretty heavy and fairly difficult to move, but they don't present the challenge that heavy slate bed tables do. Plus, slate tables are more common than MDF tables. Depending on the size and the material from which the plain surface is made, 
The weight can vary from 180 pounds for a 6 feet wood pool table to 2,500 pounds for a 12 foot slate pool table. Keep in mind that in the modern era, the plane surface of the billiard tables is usually made of slates. Only the slate for a typical pool table can weigh between 400 to 600 pounds with a thickness of 3 fourths of an inch to 1 inch. So you will need from 5 to 7 movers to move it. Step 3. Disassemble. With the plan and supplies taken care of, you can begin taking the pool table apart. If you have an owner's manual for that particular table, follow the instructions inside. If not, follow the instructions below. Rails and pockets. Identify the head of the table. This is where you stand when you break. The food is where the object balls are placed at the start of the game. Start at the head rail and work your way around the table, taking the bolts out. Place the bolts in a bag labeled for the rails. As you work around the table, remove the staples securing the pockets to the rails. Sometimes these pockets are secured with staples, other times screws are used. Remove the hardware from the pockets and put it in a bag labeled for the pockets. Once you have all the bolts, staples and screws out, you can remove the rails and label them with the removable labels. Headrail, headrail right, footrail, footrail left, and etc. Felt. Removing the felt is usually the most time-consuming portion of disassembly. If you want to salvage the felt, you'll want to carefully remove it. If it has been stapled in, you'll want to take out each staple one by one. This is where it's handy to have a helper. If the felt has been glued on, you can try removing it with pulling it back from the table. This should allow you to remove it without stretching it or tearing it. If you are having the table refelted after the move, you can simply rip the cloth off. If you are saving the felt, fold it carefully and prepare it for transport. Next, use the black marker to draw a circle or an arc across the slate if it is three pieces and mark the headpiece if it isn't already marked. Remove the screws from the slate using the power drill. Place them in their own bag labeled for the slate. Three-piece slates are usually joined with beeswax or some kind of putty, which should come apart easily as you remove the pieces. Moving tip. Step 4. Transport. Moving the slate is the hardest part because it is heavy and brittle. If you have a single-piece slate, you'll likely need four to five people to move it. Slate from a three-piece table can usually be transported using two or three people per piece. You'll want to lay the slate flat. Do not prop them against a wall or place them against anything, because they can crack or break somewhat easily. Everything else should be labeled and transported as safely as possible. Do it all at once, if possible. Step 5. Reassemble. Once you have the table in the new location, you can reverse the steps for disassembly buff. However, there are some additional steps to take as you reassemble the table. Level the table once before you put the felt back on and again after the whole table is assembled. If you have a three-piece slate table, you'll need to rejoin the slate with beeswax or something similar. Make sure the side rails are in line before tightening down the bolts. You can do this by side, looking down the length of the table at rail level. Do not try to assemble the table upside down and then flip it over when you are done. This is very difficult to do and increases the risk of breaking the table or injuring your health. That's what it takes to move a pool table. It's a great way to learn the nuances of your table and it helps you realize why hiring a professional to move a pool table costs as much as it does. Thanks for watching this video and let us know in the comments below how did you find it. You can always find more moving tips and useful guides at moving-me.com. Good luck with your next move. Moving tips.